So we just locked in a 3.46 R trade for 7.3%. And I want to go over how I actually managed to do this. So even though this trade was for NEO, which is an altcoin, the first thing that I do is I look at Bitcoin. This is because whatever direction I think Bitcoin is going to move in, altcoins typically move in that same direction, except they have more beta, which means that they move even greater percentages than Bitcoin does. And for example, this right here moved for 7%. 0.3%. And if we look at Bitcoin, Bitcoin only moved about 3%. And so the first thing that I did was I looked at Bitcoin and noticed that there was some heavy, heavy resistance up in this area and that it was actually moving back towards it. And that gave me a bias to the downside, thinking that Bitcoin was going to move lower. Then when I saw that that was happening, I looked for altcoins that were in a similar position where the price was moving higher, even though my bias was that it's going to turn around and go lower. That's when I saw that NEO had a huge percentage move up over 8% and that just seemed a little unsustainable given the fact that I thought that Bitcoin and the general market was going to go down. So the first thing that I did was I looked left and I saw that this candle right here was the up move before the down move that broke the market structure and so I labeled this as a bearish order block and then I took my Fibonacci from the top to the bottom and I saw that it lined up with the 61.8 and I also noticed that it had a lot of confluence with this area right here, which was also support that typically turns into resistance. And it already came above that previous support and then failed it, which means that this is going to be a retest of the new resistance. So putting all of that together, we have number one, the bearish bias in the market due to Bitcoin. Number two, the bearish order block, which was the up move before the down move that broke through the market structure and created a bearish market structure. We had the 61.8 Fibonacci and we had a retouch of the previous support turned resistance. Add all of those together and that makes for a great high confluence trade setup. And this one in particular, was over a 3.4 R, which is great risk reward. And so it checked all of my boxes and that's how I was able to put on this trade.